there's always the difficulty, and particularly with the National Credit Act, that if one would apply for more money on your bond, that you have to again prove that you can actually afford the monthly repayment. And there's the uh, banks or financial services providers would need to go through a full reassessment at each of those points in time. So what could make sense is actually to create a form of a flexi bond or access bond right up front. Um, we in our case also have the ability to do a, f a, f a bond that's higher than the current approved one and we call it the future use uh, option. So then let's say I buy 4 million rand, I can register a bond for 1.5 million and at least it takes away some of that further bond registration and the delay in time if I ever need money. But back on the flexi bond, that's one of the mechanisms of creating a very fluid type of uh, mortgage instrument. So you can put money into your home loan, um, you can pay sort of ahead, sometimes one would get some money uh, lump sum on a lump, lump sum basis, and then sort of earn interest or save interest, tax free actually, at the prevailing client rate, the loan rate that you actually pay, which is normally uh, much more than a, a fixed deposit rate. So it's a good place to actually go and put extra money. And then, of course, one would need to, at some point, maybe take out some of that again. And the key then is to kind of have the flexibility to do that quite quickly and easily, as simple as a transfer on, on the online banking website. Uh, so that's quite important then, uh, we think, is to just kind of look sort of forward and potentially kind of make sure that you have that flexibility around your home loan. And secondly, if any prepaid funds become available, really seriously consider this option of putting some of that away into, in, into this home loan, as you not only save interest, but have this flexibility of getting it out again when you actually need it. And it's sometimes kind of just a psychological thing of you have it separately there, you can actually see where it sits. Uh, so the alternative is to kind of just stick absolutely with the monthly repayment, and kind of just let the bank sort of do a debit order every month and kind of forget about it. And that's kind of more the passive approach. And we tend to find that people that are more active in managing their financial affairs would also be more active in using this flexi facility and actually um, optimize their cash flow, try and save a bit of interest, etc. And then it can be quite useful that you actually, when you really need some money, it's always good to have a buffer, save some interest. There are many advantages in that. Um, and also kind of get the money out very quickly on the same day when you actually actually need it.